Hello, this is Billy Core from Carolina Circle City. We can't go far in this video because the battery's dead on this camera and I haven't used a cord, but this is October 11th, 11th of 2011, and I have finished, well, almost finished, there's still a few tweaks I need to work out, building the Ultimate Packard Bell. This is um, my Packard Bell PB2990, which is a from the pack from the Platinum Pro series of Packard Bells. It originally came with a 2 gigabyte hard drive, a 200 megahertz Pentium processor, and 24 megabytes of RAM. And what I did was I upgraded the RAM to 80 to 80 megabytes, bumped the uh, hard drive up to 8 gigabytes. I'm hoping to eventually put in a PCI IDE control card so I can have an even bigger hard drive. This phone's been ringing off the hook all day for some reason. And, um, it's, let's see what else is there. I've lost track here. Uh, and I put in a 52 speed CD ROM drive. Uh, what happened here was a funny story. The reset button, um, I had to take this front panel off yesterday to wash it in the sink. And somewhere between here and the kitchen, the button fell out and I can't figure out where, where it is. So no more reset button, I guess, but it's still there, just kind of tacky looking. But um, let's see, and... Yes, that is an iOmega zip drive up here, a parallel port one. I bought that at a thrift store, I think this past Friday, for $3. came with the original cable and everything. It, um, because back in 1999, we bought a computer with a built-in zip drive. It was a an HP running Windows 98 Second Edition, and it had a built-in zip drive, and we'd use it every now and then and and we still have some of the old zip disk lying around so I'm able to use one in here and this is one of them there we go and there's nothing on here by the way um, I might use this for I got Norton Ghost um, I might be able to make hard drive images of my old computers with it, but um, at, oh yeah, and I put in a 16-bit sound blaster card. Um, great sound, by the way, which you'll hear in a moment. And um, and for whatever reason, the onboard graphics card is pretty much on its last legs. Um, whenever I play a game on here, um, it would just I'd get these. Uh, these brown and multicolored ho horizontal lines going across the screen, up and down, up and down, and um, and it drove me crazy. And it, it wouldn't just be when I would play a game; I'd it, they wouldn't go away until the computer was shut down or rebooted. So um, what I did to remedy that was I put in a a two megabyte S3 ver uh, not verge. Uh, S3 um, Trio 64V Plus PCI card, and it's worked like a champ. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and fire this computer up. Because I want you to see the main attraction here. We did something pretty cool with the Legend 402 today is scene here I'll talk about that tomorrow all right as you can see here I have um, what's it called the uh, system commander running on here and I got two operating systems dual booted on this computer I've got Windows 95 and Windows 98 Second Edition. Um, what I did with 95 was I just used an old Packard Bell Master CD from 1995, which put 
Navigator 3.5 on there, as well as the Pirate Who Wouldn't Wash, and Millie Fitzwillie, and my first encyclopedia, all the typical Packard Bell software. And what I did for 98SE was I used the Platinum Pro Master CD, which put Windows 95 on there along with Navigator 3.9 and um, all the other Platinum Pro software. And then I upgraded it to 98. And um, yeah, we'll start. And I love this OS selection menu. It looks kind of like Windows Vista or 7. And I love how it uses the box art for the operating systems for the selection which I think is just pretty darn cool <laughs> alright now let's start off with good old Windows 95 and these are 2.1 all Altec Lansing speakers which have pretty good sound if I must say okay, focus camera And I do have the network card in here, so it has internet access. It's very limited internet access, but anyway, I've got all the usual Windows 95 stuff on here. Uh, let's see, I upgraded it to B. Stupid refresh lines. <laughs> it's, if you have epilepsy, I apologize for any seizures you may be having right now. <laughs> And see the ugh. okay come on maybe it'll let me change uh, it's not gonna let me change it uh, so we got I'm gonna get out device manager I think that's causing the problem for some reason uh, yeah, you can see it's showing two hard drives that's Windows 95 and that's 98 and there's the zip drive. Like I said, there's nothing on it right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Windows 95 is using a 3.40 gigabyte partition. And 98 is using a 4.41 gigabyte partition. And just to show you how wonderful these speakers are, plus sound card, let me just play the classic Canyon MIDI file. I broke with that, but um, and of course, let's go ahead and take a look at Navigator. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two well, computing on, environments to choose from Packard Bell's Navigator go. or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. Okay, I don't know why the screen's flickering so bad. Uh, can adjust the fret refresh rate for whatever reason. Oh, and I want to show this game off real quick. This here 
is a true classic from my childhood. I normally don't play these space-related games, but um, not many people will remember this. It's from 1996 by Electronic Arts called Firefight. What was cool about this was that um, when you bought this brand new, it came with two copies of the exact same disc for whatever reason. And, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Camera's having focus problems tonight. <laughs> And this game runs on all operating systems up to XP. Electronic Arts, Epic Mega Game, Chaos Works, Firefight. Yeah, I better get the um, good old Sidewinder out. Star Trek. <laughs> Enough of that, let's reboot and check out 98 SE. Come on, come on, focus, focus. There's the graphics. Back here again, so let's select 98 SE. I got plus installed on here. I hope 98 will let me adjust the refresh rate if it's messed up like 95. Yeah, Windows 98 runs a little choppy on here, but um, it's nothing too bad. Here we go. And this is the Garfield desktop theme that came with 98 Plus. Uses the active desktop. Evil laugh. <laughs> I got Office 97 and Office 2000 on here. Let's check out Office 97 real quick. This is Word 97 I'm opening. Oh good, that blasted paper clip didn't come up this time. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
my computer. It's seeing both graphics cards, but it's currently using the one on the top. Well, that one on the bottom is screwed up. But oh well, it's no big deal. Let's take a look at good old Packard Bell Navigator 3.9. Yeah, the refresh on here is a lot Your better. Packard Bell computer offers two computing environments to choose from. Our Navigator Home Environment or Microsoft Windows. Press button number one to go directly to Navigator or button two to go to Windows 95. In this case, 98. Press button three for an overview of Navigator. Press the number three key on your keyboard for a quick lesson on using your mouse. To customize your setup and secure your computer so that more than one person can use it, Press button 4. I guess even by not Navigator 3.9, people still didn't know how to use a mouse. But oh well. <laughs> Let's see, with Navigator 3.9, um, you, as you can see, it's a totally different house setup. Uh, you have a new type of kid space, not uh, including kid space, of course, but you also have MySpace. Let's take a look at MySpace, and I don't mean the social networking site, which it's a total piece of crap in my opinion. <laughs> Not this, but this is the website. Hello, and welcome to MySpace. This is the cool place to work and play. Keep your software in the bookcase. Put all your games and stuff on the shelves. To start your <laughs> software, drag things from the shelves to where I'm standing. Keep all your files and letters in the dresser drawers. And if you want to enter the exciting world of the internet, pull down the lever under the window, click anywhere on the window area, and be transported to a whole new online dimension. Now, if you need more help, click on the box with the mouse. So what are you waiting for? Start exploring and have fun! I guess the jack-in-the-box must have went through puberty or something. <laughs> Let's see, how do I get out of here? I always... Okay, let's go back to Navigator. And here, the and the software room is now a software library, which is just a bookshelf now. And, see, it has a totally different software package. You get Corel WordPerfect, uh... Dinosaur in the Garden and the Little Engine Interactive Storybook. Uh, let's see, the Packard Bell CD Extras Music Hits, whatever that is. Uh, get Printmaster Gold, Jana Contact 95. Uh, let's see, Paint Shop Pro and Photo Works Light Edition. Oh yeah, Planet Oasis. Um, that was Packard Bell's internet service designed for kids, and it does. It is on here, but it does not work because it doesn't exist anymore. And whenever you open it, it freezes the entire computer up. So I'm not even going to press the button for you. <laughs> Although one remaining thing from the original software package is still on here, and that would be Toonland. And that's still survived on there. Uh, the info room, it's, it's still a room. It looks completely different, though. You get all your internet icons and your tutorials and the infamous mouse lesson. <laughs> uh, and that's enough for Navigator. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. When I got Mozilla Firefox running on here, it's version 2. Point something something. This is the very last version that will run on 98. See, it takes a little while to load. 
I will go ahead and tell you this. Whenever I do try to even open up Facebook, it crashes with an illegal operation. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get YouTube to come up. Now, I can't watch any videos. Um, I think technically you can, but I don't know which version of Flash Player to install, so we'll wait on that for some other day. Slowly but surely, he's having to load all the ads. Probably ought to put Adblock Plus on here. That's enough of that. Okay. Like I said, it could be a little bit faster, but um, eventually I am going to put a Intel Pentium MMX processor in here. I just need to find one. I, I do have one, but it's not quite as powerful as I want it to be. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take Firefight out of the drive. Whoa! Excuse me. Alright, let's go ahead and shut it down. And I love the shutdown sound it, pl it plays with this desktop theme. Alright, and for now this is Billy Core signing off.